for it. So excited to get him out here when, whenever he's ready. So uh, a lot of work to do still with him. You know, we've talked through a lot of a lot, a lot of looks. You know, we've seen on tapes. You know, the guys do take the reps and being able to talk through the spacing, the timing, and now it's just a matter of of being able to come out here and, and do it in person and, and make that connection. If you guys were to have a, a real game today, how would that connection be with you going over? Like, do you feel like you're still a ways from being game ready there? You know, I feel like we're getting there. Obviously, you know, we've had limited reps together in even practice situations. So um, I feel confident that we'd, we'd make it work if we had a game today, but we don't have a game today. So, you know, we got a few weeks to, to get this thing right and uh, continue to, to work together and I'll be on the same page. You know, when we do get that opportunity for the first game. How long is that? I mean, it's different for everybody, but how long does it take? If you, if, if you got your whole crew out there a week before the season opener, or you, or you feel like you're in good shape there, or do you need more time? You know, I think it's, it's one of those things that the more reps you get, the better you're going to get. You know, I think uh, I'm going to feel confident no matter what happens going into week one that, that we'll find a way to make the plays. But uh, like anything, you know, the more practice you get, the more reps you get, the more comfortable you get with, with one another and um, kind of settle in. Acquired here. Did you go back at all and look at some of his game film from the Falcons to kind of see the nuances of it, or did you just start afresh with him? Yeah, I got I got a cut up of, of all his catches from the past two years. His last two years down in Atlanta, was able to watch that that cut up and um, just try to see what he did. Obviously, it'll be a little bit different in our offense, but just kind of see what he had success doing and and type of plays he was making. Um, and it was fun. It was fun for me to be able to see that that tape. And I see the plays that he was making. Coach Moore, Coach Rob Moore, that is, he said that he likes that you don't see any jersey numbers. You just go to the open man. But when you see Julio make those type of plays, does it start to get to, like, you know, I got to get the ball to, to two? Well, I think, you know, that's a benefit of, of having guys all over that can make plays. But, you know, I try to stay within the system, not try to force feed anybody. Um, I think that's kind of our job as an offense, as you know, a play caller, as a quarterback, to, to be able to create those situations where we look for good opportunities to get the ball to guys, right? But uh, I can't force it to, to any one person. You know, I think you can create some issues there if you just start force feeding one guy. So um, you know, try, to, try to let it come naturally, you know, let the game come to me, I'll throw the ball you know, where the coverage and, and play dictate that the ball goes. And then there's always going to be situations, with it, whether it's third down or in the red zone or a critical situation where you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And that's a situation where uh, you, know, you kind of look for your best one-on-one. -on -one, and it could be in the game situation. You look for your best one-on-one -on -one and, and try to you know, put a good ball in a good spot there. So um, you know, it's nice to have a guy of, of his uh, size and, and playmaking ability in those situations. I noticed a lot more masks around. Have you guys upped the protocols since Mike's positive? Yeah, I think, you know, I think it's uh, a, a step up. I don't know. Officially or anything like that, but yeah, you know, we've we've upped their protocols a little bit, just trying to keep everyone safe and healthy. What's it been like without him around? Uh, it's different, you know. It's different, you know. The guy that's uh, the voice of of the team meetings, voice of the team, you know, kind of setting the tone. Uh, but he's on Zoom. He, he's setting the, the tone from Zoom. You know, we had a, uh, a normal team meeting. He just was was piping in his voice over Zoom. So uh, a little different, but you know, we're plugging away. You know, trying to take advantage of every day. Said, you know, said he called you Coach Tannehill after the game. Said you maybe got me, gave him a little bit of a, of a pep talk. Uh, how much you kind of enjoy that part of it, and what what has it been like? What, what's it like for you in the preseason, watching other guys play and trying to give them pointers along the way? Yeah, I love I love watching our guys compete. You know, I love competing myself. If I'm not given the opportunity to go out there and play, then you know I love the game. I love uh, you know the chess match, the back and forth, and um, just competing. So. I try to help out as much as I can, you know, just helping the, the other QBs as they uh, as they were out there battling, competing, and making plays. When will you know what the plan is for Saturday? Will they tell you Friday? Will they tell you Saturday morning? When do you expect you'll you'll know? Uh, they haven't told me anything yet, so I, I don't know when it's going to happen. How much growth have you seen from Dez in the past seven days? I, mean, I think he's making strides, just like all our guys are. They're out here working, and um, you know, it's good to see him make a play in the game. Um, there for the touchdown, I think. Uh, I think you just got to stick with it. Sometimes when you're young and things aren't going your way early, you just got to stick with it, keep plugging away. And, and uh, I think he's done that. He, he's showed up a couple times here lately. You know, made a big play today uh, in practice. So it was good to see. And you've seen a lot of things over the years. Where would you rank or what would you say about Derek's back-to-back -back 300 carry years? How impressive is that and what does that say about Derek? Uh, I think it's pretty cool, obviously, you know, seeing that level of sustained success and, and – um, just dependability, being able to, to be on the field and, and 
carry the ball that many times is, is impressive. You know, I think obviously his durability, his size, his toughness, being able to to physically withstand that many hits and and carries and, and just keep plugging away. You know, it's 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 wild. You, you talk to him on Monday, Tuesday, and he's oh, I'm not sore. I'm I'm good. You know, so uh, I think some of that's you know God's gift to him of of just being a physical freak and being six five and. 250 or whatever he is, you know, um, and then he has the, the attitude and the mindset and, and loves playing football. So you kind of put all that together and it's a good package. What he's done the last couple of years, Ryan, uh, with the 17th game, is it, you know, tough maybe, or do you think in the off season what he might do considering what he's done this, just this last two years, uh, you know, coming off a 2000 yard season is the record there. Uh, what could be possible for him this year? Yeah. You know, obviously the guys had unbelievable success the past two years and, Getting another opportunity uh, should help him, but you know I think he, you asked Derek, but uh, he, he's a team guy. He wants to win first and foremost, so uh, that's what we're here to do. And if if it takes you know, getting to whatever the, the number is for the record for to do that, then you know I'm sure he'd take that. Last year in Week One in Denver, you guys got off to a slow start offensively after not having any preseason games going in. Are you all at all antsy, considering how many pieces you've had, the uh, different schedules out here to get everybody into a game on Saturday nights? Or, or what can you do in practice to ensure that week one isn't a slow start again offensively? Yeah, practice. I mean, I think that's, we've had a lot of guys out, you know, all, all across from O-line to, to guys out wide, tight ends. You know, we've, Derek hasn't practiced whole lots, you know, so we've had a, uh, a bunch of guys out and, you know, we're starting to get those guys back, which is exciting. You know, we've had a, pretty much everyone back for that, that jog through today and you could feel it, you know, the excitement, the energy and the huddle. Um, you know, guys kind of settling in and, and wanting to go play ball. So um, the more reps we get and get on the practice field, I, I'm excited about that, and I think we'll be in a good spot. Can you do it just in practice, or you elbowing Coach Downing or Mike if he gets back that, that you want to be out there with a good chunk of guys on Saturday night? Yeah, it's Coach Rabel's call. You know, he has to make that call, and whatever he feels like is best for the team. Like I said, if I get the opportunity to compete, you know, I'd love to get out there and, and do that. Good. All right. Thanks, Thanks Ryan. Ryan. Thank you. Thank you.